The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, released November 2008 by Merrimack Films, based on the novel by John Boyne and directed by David Heyman. The movie setting is set in 1940s Nazi Germany, told through the eyes of a young 8-year-old boy named Bruno. His father is a soldier promoted to a higher ranking as Commodore and is relocated out of Berlin into the countryside. He takes his wife, daughter Gretel and Bruno with him to his command post, not too far from a Jewish concentration camp. Bruno at first was very disappointed about moving from Berlin and leaving all his friends behind. Being an 8 year old, he has no knowledge of what exactly the war is about and what the SS troops did to the prisoners. Living in his new home without any other boys to play with, he tries to explore as much as he can. Also living there is Pavel, a malnourished ex-doctor, not prisoner. Bruno found a way into the garden and outside the perimeter and into the woods, eventually running into Shmuel, the Jewish prisoner who sits by the gate to escape the cruel reality of the camp. Bruno, not knowing why Shmuel is in there, befriends him and they develop a friendship that wasn't meant to be. This movie gives a different look at Nazi Germany that I have not yet seen. Having seen Life is Beautiful, I thought how can a light-hearted yet serious Nazi film ever be made again? Striped Pajamas gives a portrayal of non-military Germans such as Elsa, the wife, and the grandmother who were utterly appalled when they found out that they were killing and burning hundreds of Jews. It also shows how they indoctrinated their youth through propaganda magazines and posters. Gretel, Bruno's 12-year-old sister, becomes a Nazi sympathizer through the progression of the film in order to impress the young soldier that resides at the house with them. This movie proves that friendship and love can overcome great odds. As in the words of Jesus, greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. John 15, 13. I definitely recommend this movie to anyone that is interested in the atrocities of Nazi Germany and to those who want to see a great movie. I give The Boy in the Striped Pajamas four and a half stars out of five.